36 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Temperatures were running a good 15 to 20 degrees warmer today compared to yesterday. So instead of having highs in the 30s, temperatures were up into the 40s, 50s, and yes, 60s. We had a high of 60 in Shano today. Overall, today was the warmest day of the month. And if you like this, there is good news because there's a lot more of what you just saw on the way. In fact, it's going to get even warmer. High temps tomorrow, right around 50 degrees. We'll see mid to upper 50s on Saturday. 50s and then some 60s as we move through Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. It looks like we'll have a brief cool down behind a cold front on Wednesday and then the warmer weather returns on Thursday with temperatures getting back up into the 60s. Right now we are looking at mainly 50s out there. It is 59 degrees in Shano. We've got 53 in Clintonville. It's currently 52 degrees in Appleton. Along with the warmer temperatures, we had nearly 100% possible sunshine across the area today. And when you combine the sunshine with the warm temperatures we were looking at melting snow the great snow melt of 2018 is now underway and we've got a lot of snow to melt take a look at this high res satellite shot from earlier today showing the state of Wisconsin you can see that just about the entire state right now has deep snow cover as we zoom in just a little bit closer you can see Lake Winnebago is now ice free but we're still looking at a lot of ice here across the southern bay there's the Fox River right there and then off to the north and east you can see the Door Peninsula and Lake Michigan, just an absolutely beautiful shot. Now with high pressure building in tonight and a lot of snow on the ground and quickly diminishing winds, that temperature is going to drop like a rock. In fact, tomorrow morning we could be looking at record cold across northeast Wisconsin. Here is our main weather maker. It's a large area of high pressure and it will control our weather through this upcoming weekend. Directly underneath it today, temperatures were in the 30s and 40s where we have a ton of snow on the ground here across parts of Iowa and southern Minnesota, but kind of surrounding that you can see it warmed up nicely with temperatures getting up into the 50s and 60s. Now even with the warmer weather today, it was still below normal, which means high temperatures have been below normal every single day this month. Tomorrow it looks like more of the same. We'll see sunshine throughout the morning and then we'll see partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions as we move into the afternoon. A lot of high clouds kind of streaming in from the west. High temperatures will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. On Saturday away from Lake Michigan, it looks like highs will be in the 50s with just a few 60s out there. And obviously with the warmer weather, we're going to be looking at some flooding concerns as we head through the next couple of weeks. Rising streams and rivers. We could have some backyard and basement, uh, basement flooding and we could also have have some ponding of water on area roads. So your forecast for tonight calls for clear and cold conditions. I'm forecasting 18. The record low tomorrow morning is 20. Tomorrow, sunshine early, then sun and high clouds as we move through the afternoon. Temperatures once again will be in the upper 40s to lower 50s for most spots. It will be a little bit cooler near the lake and a little bit warmer north and west of the Fox Valley. Sun and clouds on Saturday and Sunday, mid to upper 50s. Then we'll see some 60s on Monday, lower to mid 60s. Mid to upper 60s on Tuesday ahead of a cold front behind that cold front. Gusty northeast winds will cool us down, but then we warm up very quickly again for Thursday with highs in the 60s, even warmer weather coming in for next weekend. All right, I do want to say a quick hello to all of the fifth graders at Doty Elementary School in Alloway. I was there earlier today talking about the weather, how I make forecasts, and I took a quick poll and asked them what they thought about the blizzard. Yeah, woo, <laughs> snow day, woo. But the the problem was is now they get all this extra time added on because yeah. they've now had too many snow days right. and that was more like boo, hiss. Uh, <laughs> they have I to wish. go to school earlier, <laughs> stay later, something like that. I wish I had snow days back in California, Southern California, but I never had those. Did you ever have like an earthquake day or anything like that? We did, but I was too young to experience it. Yeah. But I was at home. But yeah, we'll talk about we'll that. We'll take later. the snow days instead yeah, of we'll earthquake take the days. Snow days. All right, Cameron, thanks for that. We'll be right back.